ओके लेट्स लुक एट क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन पार्ट बी ऑफ कंबाइंड मैथमेटिक्स टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर एलेवल पे राइट दिस इज वेर वी हैव टू यूज वट साइन रोल को साइन रोल एंड जियोमेट्रिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द ट्राइंगल टू गेट द आंसर्स राइट सो वी आर गिवन दिस फिगर एंड दे हैव गिवन बी सी इज पी बी ए सी एंगल इज पाई ओ फो A B C angle is alpha. The point D lies on the extended B C line such that C D is two P. Right. Everything is also marked on the triangle. Right. First part is we need to find an expression for A B. Right. So let's see how do you find an expression for that. so let me quickly draw this right so we know this we want to find a b so we know two angles in abc triangle so what do we need to do we will do uh if we know two angles we know the third angle also so this angle is what pi minus pi over 4 plus alpha so simplify you get what so this angle is 3 pi over 4 minus alpha right so let's write that down so we know this angle also 3 pi over 4 minus alpha right so in abc triangle we know all the angles so we will apply for abc triangle sine rule we want to find ab you know so ab over sine what ab over sin this angle sin 3 pi over 4 minus alpha that is going to be equal to what we have to connect p also no? in the answer p is there so p over sin pi over 4 p over sin pi over 4 right so then Sine pi over four is what one over root two, so this is root two p. Then we'll move this sine term to this side. Sine three pi over four minus alpha. So a b is equal to this, right? So then a b is going to be equal to what root two over p. Let's expand this sine three pi over four. Cos alpha minus cos three pi over four sine alpha, right? Then we'll apply the values. Sine three pi over four is what one over root two cos alpha. Cos three pi over four is minus one over root two, so minus minus becomes plus, so one over root two sine alpha. Then what happens? Multiply by the outside root two. Then these root twos will cancel out, and we get the answer. A B is equal to what? A B is equal to p times cos alpha plus sine alpha. Right. So that part is done. Okay. Then what do we need? Right. We need A D squared. So this length squared in terms of p and alpha, right? That we can do using what cosine rule. We want something for A D squared in terms of p and alpha, right? So apply cosine rule to A D B triangle. So for A D B triangle. Apply 
cosine root so then what happens a d squared is going to be equal to what a d squared is equal to d b d squared plus a b squared b d squared plus a b squared minus 2 b d a b cos what is the angle between a, b d and a b b d and a b angle is alpha so cos alpha right then just substitute what we know a d squared b d is what b d is p plus 2 p so 3 p so 3 p squared is 9 p squared a b a b we found a b is p cos alpha plus sine alpha so this whole thing squared no need to expand because they don't ask don't ask us to simplify anything so just find the expression in terms of p and alpha so p squared is equal to cos alpha plus sine alpha whole thing squared minus 2 bd is 3p and ab is p cos alpha plus sine alpha that thing multiplied by cos alpha right so ad squared is then equal to what 9 we can take we want p squared out because that is common so p squared out 9 plus cos alpha plus sine alpha whole thing squared minus 6 cos alpha plus sine alpha times cos alpha no need to expand these things because there's no expression they want us to show just need to get some expression involving p and alpha so we have a d squared in terms of p and alpha so that is that part next part is what okay given okay deduce that if a d is 3 p then alpha is tan inverse 5 right so now they are saying a d is 3 p so let's substitute that in here and simplify so we get 9 p squared is equal to p squared 9 plus cos alpha plus sine alpha whole thing squared minus 6 cos alpha plus sine alpha times cos alpha so we can do what we can cancel p squared then also 9 and 9 will cancel so what is left then then what is left is uh, cos alpha plus sine alpha whole thing squared minus 6 cos alpha plus sine alpha times cos alpha is equal to 0 so here we can take the common part out cos alpha plus sine alpha and you are left with cos alpha plus sine alpha minus 6 cos alpha so cos alpha plus sine alpha times sine alpha minus phi cos alpha equals zero right okay so we have to solve this to get the angle alpha so first factor equal to zero cos alpha plus sine alpha equal to zero is sine alpha equals minus cos alpha or tan alpha equals minus one and we get what let's see alpha is acute angle no alpha is acute angle so this gives you alpha equals tan inverse minus one and the other one gives you what other one other equation gives you 
sin alpha equals minus phi cos alpha equals 0 or tan alpha equals 5 or this one gives you alpha equals tan inverse 5 right so look why don't we take alpha equals tan inverse minus 1 because alpha is what alpha is acute angle so this is what this is not acute no negative tan inverse negative 1 is not acute so so we can't take this so the answer is that one alpha equals tan inverse 5 right so that is question number 17 part b then and in the next video we will do the last part of question number 17